The Kamakapili Aloha Aina Collection is my way of, of bringing that message of cultural and natural preservation into that world of high-end jewelry and fashion, which encompasses the globe. So my idea is that each of the seven pieces in this collection will be used as tools, they're conversational starters, to talk about and amplify that message of Aloha Aina, of caring for our lands and our natural resources and preserving for the future. Each piece in this collection is sterling silver, is plated in rhodium, which means it's protected from tarnish, which is perfect for the climate and weather here in Hawaii. But as well, it integrates the beauty and the elegance of white opal and koa, which is a hardwood that is only found here in Hawaii. Now the collection is broken up from my Mauna Wakea design, which expresses the aloha for Mauna Kea, the world's largest mountain from sea level to summit. Now the design was expressed and inspired by the awakening of protectors and practitioners to preserve our sacred mountain against the development of the TMT telescope. But that message of aloha aina and kapu aloha to, to always share that message of caring and love is not and should not only reside here in Hawaii, but it should be expanded and be touching upon in support with other indigenous people with their lands, their mountains and their waters, such as the Native Americans when it comes to North Dakota Pipeline and Standing Rock. So I invite you to peel off the outer layer of each piece in this collection and really engage and connect with what we call the kauna or the hidden meanings, the messages, the stories that lie behind each piece. So ekobomai, welcome, and I invite you to indulge yourself in the fashion of storytelling. <laughs>